and I'll teach you a little bit of French as we go along. Uh, it's about a cat named Le Chat. Did you say Le Chat? Great. And her very best friend was a sheep named Mouton. Can you say Mouton? Mouton. So Le Chat the cat. And Mouton the sheep. Yes, they lived in this little cottage right at the edge of the woods. Mouton liked to keep the house really clean. She would dust for hours and sweep. And she liked to keep the house just so. And Le Chat, she liked to go off into the woods. She would gather food or firewood or sometimes some flowers. And she'd bring them home and give them to Mouton, who would put them in the window right where the sunlight came through. One day, Le Chat decided to go off into the woods, so she made sure that the window was locked. She made sure that the door was locked. And she went out through this tiny little cat door at the bottom of the door, and she padded off into the woods. This one day, as the shop padded off into the woods, someone else was watching. Someone named Monsieur Lou, the wolf. <laughs> he looked in that little cottage window saw Mouton, and he said, Mouton! <laughs> Mouton! <laughs> I've come to eat you, Mouton! <laughs> and Mouton looked through the window and saw Monsieur Lou. Ah! The shot! The shot! Help! 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 <laughs> the shot came running through the woods. Saw Monsieur Lou, and she said, Miera, Miera, meow, pa pow. <laughs> Landed right on the back of Monsieur Lou, dug in her claws. Monsieur Lou went, ah, and shook Le Chat off. But Le Chat landed on all four paws, as cats are apt to do. And Monsieur Lou, <laughs> back into the woods. Le Chat came in through the little cat door. Mouton, what's the matter? It was Monsieur Lou. He was here looking through the window. He said he was going to eat me up. <laughs> well, was the window locked? Yes! And was the door locked? Yes! So could he get in? No. 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 <laughs> so you'll be okay? Yes. Okay, Mouton, I'll be back in just a little bit, I promise. So the Shah again snuck out through her little cat door, padded off into the woods, and again, Monsieur Lou watched. took his paw and shoved it through that little cat door. <laughs> Muta! <laughs> Muta! <laughs> I've come to eat you, Muta! <laughs> and Mouton said, ah, the shot! The shot! The shot! <laughs> the shot came running through the woods. Miera, Miera, meow, papow. <laughs> well, the shot came in through her little cat door. Well, Tom, what's the matter? It was Monsieur Lou. He stuck his paw. It was Monsieur He was right there. <laughs> well, how big was his paw? He was very big and furry and cool. <laughs> well, how far could he reach his paw? Not very far. <laughs> so if you stay away from the door, I'll be fine. <laughs> yes, Mouton, you will be. Now I'm going to go off into the woods. I'll be back in just a little bit, I promise. So again, Le Chat went out through her little cat door and padded off into the woods. And again, Monsieur Lou. <sighs> <laughs> He took his 
snout and shoved it through that little cat door. Mutan! <laughs> Mutan! <laughs> I've come to eat you, Mutan! <laughs> But Mouton, she didn't scream. And when Lachat came back from the woods, she saw Monsieur Lou with his snout through the door. Mouton! Mouton! Mouton, can't you see I'm scary? <laughs> but all Lachat heard from inside was It's making my nose here. Hey, little moon. Hey, moon. Hey, This is a sound. Put a stop. Do it. Hey, 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 go off into the woods like she always had to get some food or firewood or flowers to give to Mouton. Every once in a while, Monsieur Lou would come back because that's just the way he was. But Mouton, she never ever screamed ever again.